Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. An Oakland County Circuit Court judge has blocked county prosecutors from enforcing the state's 1931 abortion ban. He says it goes against the state constitution. The ruling comes after days of testimony, which included abortion experts and the state's chief medical officer. The defense is expected to appeal. Voters may have the final say. An abortion rights campaign submitted signatures to have an initiative added to the November ballot. Republican nominee for governor Tudor Dixon has selected her running mate, former state representative Shane Hernandez, will be on the November ballot. He spent four years in Lansing representing District 83, which covers part of St. Clair County in Michigan's thumb. He was born in Port Huron. He also chaired the House Appropriations Committee. Dixon and Hernandez will face Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist in November. The Great Lakes Water Authority is making progress on its water main repair work. Crews stabilized the existing pipe Friday and started cutting the damaged section. The new piece of pipe is scheduled to be delivered on Tuesday. Over the weekend, a major water main break triggered a boil water advisory, which is still in effect for 133,000 households. The new equipment is expected to be up and running on September the 3rd. Here's meteorologist Mike Taylor now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Thanks, Dave. Looks pretty good for the rest of this evening into tonight, but tomorrow it gets interesting for the weekend. We'll have some afternoon showers and thunderstorms around. Same thing for Sunday. Looks like the ones on Saturday could be on the strong side. 